21st annual NCAA Ball Championship from Freedom Hall in Louisville, Kentucky. UCLA against Purdue, and UCLA gets the tip but loses the ball out of bounds. The Bruins are after their third consecutive NCAA title. On the back line for Purdue, Bill Keller, number 24. Rick Mount with the ball. And Purdue leads two to nothing. As Mount, the sensational junior from Lebanon, Indiana, gets Purdue into the early lead. Lou Alcindor is 33. Kenny Heights, number 22. John Vallely is 40. Curtis Rowe, number 30. And Lynn Shackelford, 53 for UCLA. On the back line, Kenny Heights and John Vallely. Heights looks for Alcindor. There he is, and it's a tie ball game, two to two. Herman Gilliam across the line, beats off to Mount, sets a screen, and the Purdue star hits another one. It's four to two Boilermakers. John Vallely and Kenny Heights bring the ball up with Vallely across the line. Curtis Rowe. Vallely on the fadeaway jump, missing. Rowe on the rebound. And another rebound try, and Shackelford comes out with the ball for UCLA. Height speed, Shackelford. That's Curtis Rowe with the ball. And a charging foul against Vallely. Bill Keller and Rick Mount on the back line. This is Herman Gilliam. Jerry Johnson to Mount. And UCLA picks it up. Rose saved it, but down with the ball comes Gilliam for Purdue. Shackelford against uh, Gilliam defensively. Kenny Heights against Mount. Kenny Heights at the top of the key to Shackelford. And the 20-footer is on the way, but it's missing. Al Cinder can't make his move against Johnson. Beats Shackelford, takes the return. He's got it. And it's all tied up at 4-4. Four four. Early minutes of the game at Freedom Hall in Louisville. Herman Gilliam working on the back line. Off to Keller, the smallest man on the floor. Goes firing and missing, and Al Cinder clears it out, and UCLA on a fast break. Boilermakers get back on the defense. Vallely gets the shot away. Johnson tips it out of there, and finally it's out of bounds. And the ball belongs to Purdue. Bill Keller. To favor. Vallely brings it back for UCLA. Shackelford. And two more for the big giant from UCLA. Bill Keller to, to the free throw line. Working outside with Gilliam. Mount setting the screen. Keller fires. He's got it. And it's all tied up at 6-6. Six to six. Shackelford to Vallely. 
Heights is Kenny Heights. Row down the right side. Al Cinder back underneath. Row into the key and a foul is called. And the foul is on Faber. Bill Keller along with Gilliam. The shot is missed and getting the rebound is Frank Kaufman who is now in the game for Purdue. Gilliam from long range missing and UCLA controls the board. Grove pulls it out of there. Off to Alcindor and here come the Bruins. Vallely sets the play in motion. Shot out of the corner by Shackelford. And Frank Kaufman clears it out for Purdue. Rick Mount being guarded closely by Vallely and Heights as they switch off. Bill Keller into the key to Kaufman. Mount on the fake. Gets the screen and the shot. And he misses it. And a foul is called. Now the Boilermakers come right back with the ball. Bill Keller on the outside. Bill stands only 5'10". Tyrone Bedford, number 13 now in the game for the Boilermakers. Rick Mount to the top of the horn. Misses another one. Ball is tipped out and controlled by Shackelford of UCLA. Rowe leaves it off now for Kenny Heights. To Alcindor. In and out. Alcindor on the follow gets it. And a foul is called. Here come the Boilermakers. Gilliam all the way to the baseline. Feeds off to Mount. And out front to Bill Keller. Mount gets a screen. The shot is off. And it won't go down. The loose ball picked up by Alcindor. An interception by Mount. And he misses another one. Rowe clears it out for UCLA. To Shackleford. The fake and the shot. And two points for the Bruins. 14 to 6 the score now. Bill Keller. With Tyrone Bedford. Keller at the baseline. To Frank Kaufman takes the return. And the ball will not go in for the Boilermakers. Keller tries again and he gets it. Alcindor lays back as the Bruins bring the ball down. Kaufman goes after him. Kenny Heights out front guarded by Rick Mount. Alcindor again. And a follow is good by Rowe. 16 to 8 the score now with UCLA in front. As Tyrone Bedford comes wheeling into the front court in a hurry. Leaves it off for Gilliam. Gilliam looking for Mount down that baseline, but Heights is sticking to him like glue now. Frank Kaufman. Mount. And a foul is called on Kenny Heights. Ball knocked down by Mount, picked up by Shackelford into Alcindor. Two more for the Bruins. Bill Keller wheels into the front court, heads for the baseline. 
Now it's Gilliam out front to Tyrone Bedford. Kaufman to Mount sets the screen. Mount down the lane and no good. Alcindor pulls it off for UCLA. Shackelford makes it 20 to 10 UCLA. The biggest margin of the night for the Bruins. Gilliam from 20 missing. And UCLA's Kenny Heights gets it. A long feed to Shackelford is out of bounds. And the ball goes over to the Boilermakers. Keller out of the key. And it's out of bounds in UCLA's ball. But the pressure put on now in the backcourt by Purdue. UCLA wheels into the front court with Vallely, and he pops in two for the Bruins. Bill Keller, a senior out of Indianapolis, quarterbacking the Boilermakers. Tyrone Bedford, out of the key, in and out. Rowe clears it off for UCLA. Alcindor right under the bucket. He's more than Frank Kaufman can handle. Keller to Faber to Rick Mount. Nice fake by Mount. Shot blocked beautifully by Kenny Heights, however. Purdue's ball. Mount shooting over Heights, no good. Mount is not getting the good shots now with Heights working very closely to him on the defense. Gilliam picks it up and misses and the rebound is cleared by Lou Alcindor. The Bruins set their offense motion now. Heights and Vallely working on the outside. And Vallely hits a driving layup. Ten straight points now for UCLA, and the Bruins lead 26 to 10. Tyrone Bedford to Gilliam. He hits a left-hander that you wouldn't believe. Shackleford out of the corner. And Gilliam brings it down for Purdue. Fast break for the Boilermakers. Bedford on the shot. Missing. Tip try missed by Gilliam. The second tip is good. Jerry Johnson getting credit for the bucket. Al Cinder underneath. And the Bruins score again. Jerry Johnson back in at the post for Frank Kaufman for Purdue. 45 is Larry Weatherford, who's now in the game for the Boilermakers. 10 is Rick Mount. 30 is Gilliam. 13 is Tyrone Bedford. And 31 is Jerry Johnson. Mount to Gilliam. A beautiful defensive play by Lou Alcindor. So the Bruins, with the big lead here in the first half, really working on those backboards. K. 
Kenny Heights after the tip. Not only from long range missing, and a foul was called on Al Cinder, an offensive foul. Now an offensive foul against John Vallely of UCLA. As he bumped into Bill Keller. Gilliam to Keller. Missing again. Tyrone Bedford on a follow. And it won't go down. And UCLA clears it out with Shackelford. Mount breaks up the play, intercepts the ball, feeds off to Keller, fires out of the left side, misses from 15 feet away, and the rebound is cleared off by Bedford. He feeds Keller, and Keller's shot won't go down. Bedford saves another one, but he had stepped across the line. Purdue applying the pressure in the backcourt, relaxing it now as the Bruins bring the ball down. And a whistle stops play, and a foul was called on Jerry Johnson. Now Purdue comes back. Not trying to drive against Kenny Heights. Just can't get any room. Now they double team with Al Sender coming over to help out. And the tip in is good. Herman Gilliam got that hand up there. Heights into the front court for the Bruins. To Shackelford. To Al Sender. Two more for the Giants from New York. Bill Keller at the baseline. Fadeaway shot. And Al Sender rips it off of there. Shackelford. Out front to Heights. UCLA is going to make the Purdue defense come out. Vallely beats Shackelford, takes the return. Now UCLA is content to hold the ball. They look at the clock. And the Boilermakers won't come after him. Valley, number 40, to Shackelford, who is 53. Kenny Heights to Vallely to Shackelford who takes the shot from about 18 feet and misses and Purdue clears it out. Gilliam, a midcourt pass to Bill Keller. Bedford picks up the loose ball off to Mount. Mount from about 12 feet away misses and UCLA controls the board and a foul is called on Tyrone Bedford. The Boilermakers come down floor with Larry Weatherford to Gilliam. Sid Wicks, number 35, is now in the game for UCLA. Heights on the defense, has those hands high. He's done an outstanding job. UCLA's ball. Mount is out of the ball game now. Weatherford is in. Mount is two for 15 at this stage of the game from the field. Gilliam from 20 feet away missing. Bedford battles for the rebound with Wicks. Johnson feeds it way out front to Bill Keller. 
to Weatherford, to Gilliam, and Weatherford on the outside. Gets the screen, goes for the shot, and it won't go down for him. And Al Cinder pulls it off on the rebound to Heights. Heights from close range. And Purdue comes up with the rebound. Midcourt pass to Weatherford. Back to Bill Keller. Bill Sweek is now in the game for UCLA, number 45. Rebound controlled by UCLA. Kenny Heights has been outstanding defensively against Rick Mount in the first half. Off to Rowe. Rowe in the lane. Missing. Alcindor on the follow. And it's 35 to 17 UCLA. Bill Keller over to Gilliam. Heads for the corner. And he pops one through for the Boilermakers. Kenny Heights on the inbounds. Pass picked up by Weatherford in the backcourt. Gets it across to Bill Sweet. To roll. Missing, and Bedford clears the board for UCLA. Breaks right up the middle. In the left lane, Bedford takes a shot, but a foul is called. UCLA with the ball, and it's intercepted by Keller of Purdue to Johnson. And another foul stops play. Here come the Boilermakers. Herman Gilliam driving all the way, and he misses the layup. Johnson misses the follow. And Tyrone Bedford comes up with a loose ball for Purdue. To Bill Keller, he fires from 20, and it's good. Here come the Boilermakers, Bill Sweek into the front court, or rather the uh, Bruins. Boilermakers drop back on the defense, Rick Mount back in the ball game for Purdue. right under the basket and he has 24 points now as UCLA leads 38 to 23. 24 points for Al Cinder here in the first half. Rick Mount who's been throttled by Heights fires and misses. And the ball goes over to UCLA. Intercepted by Gilliam and then lost as Sid Wicks comes up with the ball for the Bruins. Bill Sweet, here's Al Cinder. And Johnson rebounds for Purdue, and a foul is called. Now it's UCLA's ball, intercepted by Johnson. He misses, and Al Cinder rebounds for UCLA, out to Sweet, the Bruins have Wicks wide open. He misses the layup, and the tip-in is missed. Now the Boilermakers, Gilliam, brings it down. A traveling call against Faber of Purdue. Kenny Heights guarded by Mount. Bill Sweek is 45, and Sid Wicks is 35, but a whistle stops play. It's Purdue's ball. Up to Bill Keller. They clear out the right side. Keller takes the shot. It's good. And it's 38 to 27 UCLA. Mount bothering Heights, finally cost him the ball. Here's Mount on the drive, it's good. That's the first field goal for Mount since the early moments of the game and he has eight points. And the ball goes to Purdue. Johnson to Keller for the shot. Not good. 
Wicks, long down court pass, goes to Bill Sweet. He hits the layup and it's 40 to 29 UCLA. Favors 33, Mount is number 10 for Purdue. Mount misses again from long range. Now the Boilermakers come right back. Bedford checks the clock, goes for the shot. It's good. And it's 42 to 31. And the first half has come to an end. 42-31, UCLA over Purdue. We're going into the second half of the 31st annual NCAA basketball championships from Freedom Hall in Louisville, Kentucky. UCLA with the ball, getting the tip off, leading Purdue, the Boilermakers from the Big Ten, by a score of 42 to 31. UCLA has been led by Lou Alcindor's 24 points, while Rick Mount has been held to only eight by the tough guarding of Kenny Heights. This is Alcindor with the ball, number 33. Lynn Shackelford is 53, missing, and a whistle stops play. Free throw missed by Shackelford. UCLA controlling the boards. Roll on the move for the layup, and he's got it. So UCLA now goes in front by a score of 45 to 31. Bill Keller is 24 for the Boilermakers. Rick Mount is number 10. They work on the outside. Faber is 33. Mount, long range, pops it in. And he has 10 points in the game now. Eight coming in the first half. It's 45-33 UCLA. The Bruins after their third consecutive NCAA championship. Kenny Heights guarded by Rick Mount. Off to Vallely, number 40. Rowe is 30 for UCLA. Shackelford is 53. And Alcindor, of course, is 33. And two for the Bruins. Herman Gilliam is number 30, playing the ball in. Keller wheels into the front court. Jerry Johnson is 31 on the post. To Mount. And it won't go down for him, but Gilliam rebounds to Johnson. And the ball deflected as he started to go for the shot, and UCLA winds up with it. Shackelford leaves it off for Vallely. To Heights. Vallely down the right lane. And a foul is called on Bill Keller. Here come the Boilermakers. Gilliam to the top of the key to Keller. Keller hits the baseline, tried to feed under, ball deflected, finally picked up by Mount. And it won't go in. Keller scrambling for the rebound, loses it to Shackelford of UCLA. Up to Vallely. to Curtis Rowe, Shackelford. Heights speeding Al Cinder. And Rowe on the follow, missing. They battle for the ball, and Al Cinder drops it in, but it won't count. Purdue's ball. The Boilermakers move quickly. Gilliam. Underneath the Johnson and Al Cinder's defensive work partially deflected the ball. Here come the Bruins. 
Shackelford handling it on the outside to Kenny Heights. Heights to Al Cinder. Purdue rebounds. Bill Keller up the middle, down the left lane now to Gilliam. To Rick Mount, turnaround jump off the baseline, won't go in. Johnson underneath, out to Mount. Mount getting a screen from Gilliam, goes for the shot, and it's good. The Bruins, who have led since the early stages of the game, operating here in the second half. Valley across the line. To Heights. Heights trying to shake Mount. Feeds underneath the Alcender. And two more for the big guy. That gives him 27 points in the game, and UCLA leads 51 to 37. Bill Keller for the Boilermakers behind a screen by Johnson misses. The ball tipped around and finally grabbed off by Alcender. Tyrone Bedford, number 13, now in the game for Purdue. Heights to the baseline. Let's go, but he misses. And Gilliam rebounds for the Boilermakers. To Bill Keller. And Keller is guilty of traveling. Curtis Rowe driving. Trying to shake Bedford. Turnaround jumper. It's good. <laughs> Gilliam up court for Purdue. Shackleford against him defensively. Shoots over the top. Won't go down. And UCLA has the ball. Rowe clears it out to Vallely. UCLA full of confidence now with his lead in the second half. Bruins playing their game at the moment. Shackelford heads down the baseline. And the loose ball is picked up by Mount. Mount driving by Heights, but a foul was called on the way in on Kenny Heights. Now the Bruins take over again. Shackelford guarded by Gilliam in the backcourt. Weatherford, number 45, is now in for Keller for... Purdue as the foul is called. And Shackelford goes to the line but misses. And Alcinder on the follow. Scores for the Bruins. 55 to 38 now. UCLA in front in the second half. Rick Mount getting a screen. Driving, shooting, and hitting. A beautiful layup by Rick Mount. Heights comes right back for the Bruins. Heights guarded closely by Mount, almost an interception, but Rowe grabs that ball, feeds Al Cinder. How about that for a fadeaway? And it's good. UCLA has hit six for 10 here in this half. From the field, Mount firing, missing, but a whistle stops play. Here come the Bruins again. 40 is Vallely, 22 is Heights. Vallely hits the baseline, but a whistle stops play. And once again, on the move, the Purdue Boilermakers. Herman Gilliam feeds off to Tyrone Bedford. Bedford to Jim Johnson, tries to go by Al Center with a fake, and he scores. Shackelford feeds in now for UCLA. 58-43 the score with the Bruins leading. Vallely now guarded by Larry Weatherford, who's in there for Purdue. Vallely out of the corner, scoring for the Bruins. Weatherford wheels into the front court for Purdue to Gilliam. Into the key to Bedford. He left hands one up there and it goes in. 
And it's 60 to 45 UCLA. Heights on the drive. Into the corner and down the baseline comes Rowe, but he misses. Look at him battle for that ball, and he gets the rebound and pops it in and is fouled. Weatherford to Gilliam for Purdue. Gilliam from long range, missing. Jim Johnson lost the rebound to the Bruins, and a whistle stops play. Now it's the Bruins' ball. Curtis Rowe to Kenny Heights. Keller is back in for Gilliam now for Purdue. Vallely misses the shot, and the tip try is missed. And Tyrone Bedford brings it up for the Boilermakers. Right lane feed goes to Weatherford, and it's good. 20 feet away, Larry Weatherford scores for Purdue. Curtis Rowe underneath the heights, and he drops it in. Make that uh, Shackelford who scored. Bill Keller from long range missing. Now Heights with the ball. And time is called. Play resumes now. UCLA in possession. Bill Sweet, 45, now in for the Bruins on a give and go. And two points for the Bruins. Bill Sweet connects. Larry Weatherford on the outside to Johnson. To Bill Keller. To Rick Mount. Mount to the baseline. Shot is over the hands of Lou Alcindor, but missing. Bill Keller comes up with a rebound, feeds Mount. He's open. And it's two for Purdue. Rick Mount. Shackelford brings it down for UCLA. To Vallely. Out of the corner, not good. UCLA in possession. Purdue applying the pressure in the backcourt. Shackelford. To Sweet. Sweet and Shackelford on the outside at the moment for the Bruins. Over to Vallely. Underneath the Alcindor. And an easy two-pointer. With 10 minutes and 31 seconds remaining, UCLA leading 69 to 50. UCLA is 11 for 18 at the field. Shot missing, and it's Bill Keller trying to feed underneath to Faber. Back to Keller. Keller on the drive. It won't go down, and the tip try misses. And this time, UCLA comes up with the ball. John Vallely across the line. To Bill Sweet. A little bit too high for Al Sender, and Weatherford picks it up for Purdue. It is not good, and a tip try is good by Faber. Now the Bruins, John Vallely trying to shake Bill Keller, who knocks the ball out of his hands and out of bounds. Bill Sweet for the Bruins. On the high post to Steve Patterson, who is now in for UCLA. Alcindor is out of there. Steve Patterson, only a sophomore for the Bruins. Schofield, 42, is now in for UCLA. Curtis Rowe from close range missing. They battle for the ball, and Bill Sweet comes up with it and scores. 
Long feet underneath them out, and he hits the driving layup. And that makes it 71-54 UCLA. Mount, who was held eight points in the first half, is going much better here in the second half. On the free throw line, Bill Sweet missing. And the rebound is cleared out by Faber. Faber to Gilliam. Gilliam down underneath, trying to feed Faber, and the ball is deflected. And Gilliam can't save it. UCLA's ball. Terry Schofield, guarded by Rick Mount. Feeds Patterson on the high post. Down the right side to roll to Patterson. Bill Sweet. To row, Patterson at the baseline, off to Shackelford. He misses the shot, and Gilliam pulls it off. Long feed goes to Rick Mount. Mount from 18 to 20 feet, fires and hits. Mount stopped and took his shot, and he's dead from that area. No foul. Schofield on into the front court. to Shackelford, out to Bill Sweet. Terry Schofield is 42, 30 is roll for UCLA, and Schofield's driving shot is blocked and knocked out of bounds on a fine defensive effort by Jerry Johnson. Blocked by Frank Kaufman, who is now in. Gets the ball off to Patterson, who scores for UCLA. Steve Patterson, a 6'9 sophomore, in for Lou Alcindor for UCLA. Bill Keller working against Schofield, and a foul is called on Keller. UCLA takes over. Sweet running the offense right now for the Bruins. Ball knocked down by Keller. Keller tried to take it away and a foul. This is Schofield wide open for the layup to make it UCLA 75 and Purdue 57. Now Gilliam for Purdue. Not good. UCLA rebound. Patterson clears it out. Rowe feeds off. And missed the return pass as it was deflected by Purdue. So the Boilermakers have it. Gilliam trying to go all the way, but the whistle stops play. Now UCLA with the ball. Kenny Heights, all the way into the corner. Back out to Steve Patterson, number 32. Once again, UCLA with the ball. Sid Wicks is now in the game for UCLA. He's number 35. Kenny Heights guarded by Mount. They've seen a lot of each other tonight. Bill Keller on the move to Mount. A beauty. Beautiful feed, and a shot by Mount makes it 75-63 UCLA. Keller is quite a playmaker. He's all over the place, and right now he is guilty of a foul. Purdue on the offense. Larry Weatherford down the left side to Keller. Keller hits the lane on the drive. Fadeaway shot over Al Center is not good, and a whistle stops play again. This is Rick Mount for Purdue as the Boilermakers move on the offense again to Larry Weatherford. He hits the lane, but uh, that shot will not count as the whistle had stopped play. UCLA's ball intercepted on the inbounds, and Weatherford picks it up, but that shot will not count. 
Now as action is fast and furious, Purdue comes down floor with the ball. Herman Gilliam off to Rick Mount. Mount starts left, comes back to the right of the lane. To Weatherford. Weatherford takes one from the mid the uh, free throw line area, missing. Purdue with the ball. Mount driving, stopping, and shooting, and scoring. That makes it UCLA 78 and Purdue 67. Kenny Heights guarded by Mount in the backcourt. Wheels hooks the line. John Vallely guarded by Mount as they switch off. And a whistle stops play. Purdue takes over. Larry Weatherford for the Boilermakers, number 45 to Mount. Mount from behind the key. Misses. And Alcender back in the ball game. Pulls down the rebound for UCLA. Up to Lynn Shackelford. To John Vallely. To Kenny Heights. Heights working on the outside at the top of the horn. Loops one to Al Sender, but it's a little bit too long for the Giant, and he can't hold on to it. Purdue's ball. Weatherford. Over to Gilliam, then to Mount. Mount gets his shot, but it won't go down, and Rowe clears it off for UCLA. Heights and Rowe bring it down. The starting unit is back in for the Bruins. Vallely is 40. Shackelford is 53. Rowe is 30. Now Purdue has the ball. Weatherford feeding off to Bedford, who misses. Gilliam trying to follow, ball deflected, grabbed by Heights. To Vallely. This is Curtis Rowe. Al Cinder starts his move. The ball is deflected and the whistle stops play. Here come the Boilermakers after the foul. Gilliam from way out missing. Al Cinder couldn't control the ball. It belongs to Purdue. Mott takes the inbounds. And the shot off the line is good. 82 to 70 with two minutes, 41 seconds remaining. UCLA out in front and Mount now has 28 points, 20 of them coming in this half. So the great score from Lebanon, Indiana has found the range in the second half. But it may be too late. In fact, UCLA has been in command all through this second half. Al Sender. And the whistle stops play. Purdue takes over. Rick Mount. Out of the key, off the front. Al Sender, who has been sensational offensively and defensively, clears it out to Kenny Heights. Two on one. Shackelford misses the shot. Heights on the follow and it goes in. Gilliam from the top of the key missing. And a jump ball. Heights gets the tip. The Bruins winning their third straight NCAA championship. John Vallely staying away from Bill Keller. Al Cinder on the high post. They clear out underneath. Vallely to the corner. 
Keller trying to stay with him, and a foul is called on Keller. Valley going to the line. Alcinder on the follow. Connects. 86-70 now. Alcinder has scored 37 in this final game in his great career at UCLA. Rick Mount and Bill Keller bring it down for Purdue. Mount trying to find that open spot. Great defensive effort there, however, by Sid Wicks. Once again, it's Mount. No good. Wicks trying to get out of there. And a foul stops play. Again, it is Purdue on the offense. Larry Weatherford brings it up for the Boilermakers. No good. Johnson trying on the follow scores. 88-72 UCLA with 45 seconds left to play in the game. Sid Wicks, number 35, to Patterson, who's back in for Alcinder. It is good as Ecker scores from 10 feet away, and it's 90-72 UCLA. John Ecker. Now in as both coaches have substituted freely. Purdue comes up. That's Larry Weatherford. The final score, UCLA 92 and Purdue 72. 